Good morning. Thanks for joining me again today. Today's scripture reading continues the testimony of Stephen in Acts chapter 7. I'm going to begin in verse 23. Stephen has talked about Abraham, and now he's moved on to talk about Moses, who is emerging to lead the Israelites as they are slaves in Egypt. And Stephen says in verse 23, When Moses was 40 years old, it came into his heart to visit his relatives, the Israelites. When he saw one of them being wronged, he defended the oppressed man and avenged him by striking down the Egyptian. He supposed that his kinsfolk would understand that God through him was rescuing them, but they did not understand. The next day he came to some of them as they were quarreling and tried to reconcile them, saying, Men, you are brothers, why do you wrong each other? But the man who was wronging his neighbor pushed Moses aside, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge over us? Do you want me to kill you do you want to kill me as you killed the Egyptian yesterday? When he heard this, Moses fled and became a resident alien in the land of Midian. There he became the father of two sons. Moses is known as the one who was closest to God in the history of Israel. He got to see God face to face, to see God writing on the tablets, the Ten Commandments, to be with God on the mountain. And yet, one of the most important parts about Moses' story is that he's not perfect, and he makes mistakes. He kills the Egyptian, and when killing the Egyptian, discovers that that doesn't earn him the favor with his people that he thought it would, and he runs away. You might remember that he runs away a number of times in his story. Moses is not the brave, bold leader that someone would write if they were writing a fairy tale story about a savior who would come and free the people. Moses is in many ways an anti-hero, someone who is dragged into it despite his opposition, someone who continues to disappoint God throughout his time serving God might remember, too, we talked about this uh, a while ago, that Moses did not enter the promised land in part because he'd not led the people well and because he had claimed glory for himself instead of God. He put himself in God's place and tried to speak for God as if he were God himself. So Moses isn't perfect, but nevertheless, Moses is called by God. Earlier in uh, Stephen's speech, he says, Moses was beautiful before God. Each of us, too, is beautiful before God, created in God's image, imperfections and all. And God will call us to do things, to witness to things, to care for and comfort others, to experience all of the goodness that God has prepared for us in this life and in the next. I hope you can see yourself as beautiful before God, and that despite your imperfections, you too have a place in God's family. Would you join me in prayer? Jesus, you show up in the most unlikely places. Give us patience to wait and watch where we cannot sense your presence, so that we may be ready to greet you where we are. Amen. Have a blessed day.